All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Shane Smith. I'm a chiropractor here in Reno, and I'm joined with Jenny Fields. She is a nutrigenomics expert, um, has reached out to me, and we've been communicating over the last few months about health and wellness, and we've decided to collaborate and continue building up health and wellness in our community, raising awareness about what health is, how it's created in the body, and the things that are impacting our health, and the things that we can do to facilitate health from the inside out. Um, I've had an idea and I think Jenny is right on board with me of wanting to collaborate with the community. So one of the missions here is to tap into the on here in Northern Nevada or even expanding out that can impact and influence the lives of many people and we want to share that. So today we're going to dig in uh, a little bit about nutrigenomics, biohacking, some of the things that stressors are doing to our body, how it's affecting us. And Jenny, if you would like, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'd love to get the community to get to know you, seeing your face, and hear a little about what you're passionate about and how we're going to build upon this conversation. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Smith. I just appreciate you taking the time to, one, uh, meet with me and collaborate with me. I think that um, our ideas of sharing um, better health and better wellness to our community um, is so important. So um, just a little bit about myself. I'm a wife and I'm a mom of two girls. We live in Sparks, Nevada. And um, my whole entire life, I've just had a passion for health and creating better health inside of our bodies. Um, I am a retired massage therapist. And what drew me to that profession in the beginning was one, um, being able to help people and help people through touch and how our body reacts to touch when something is is given. Um, our bodies are incredible machines and they are, um, the potential that is in them is so great and I don't think that we utilize that enough. So um, I absolutely love what I did with massage therapy, but um, you know, you can only do for that for so long and then your body gives out on you. And um, so I was introduced about two years ago to this concept of um, biohacking through nutrigenomics. And it was like this light bulb that went off in my head, like, oh my goodness, this is something that needs to be tapped into. And we need to be sharing this concept because our bodies um, are have God-given potential um, with our cells and with our DNA, but if we can increase that um, by biohacking our bodies and even expand on it more, um, you know, we're, our bodies are destined to just greatness. So I jumped into it um, and I have seen amazing results with inside of my health um, from using biohacking and nutrigenomics um, in my life. And I just, you know, yeah, wanted to share it. And so I was super excited to be able to, to join forces with you. Cool. Yeah. And I think we have very similar appreciations for the body. A lot of the reasons I also chose to become a chiropractor was I realized how amazing the body was during my undergraduate program. And I wanted to help facilitate that health from the inside out. Um, turns out I get to use the art of the chiropractic adjustment to facilitate that health um, and learn about nutrition, learn about food, supplements, and realize, wow, these are also amazing ways to facilitate health from the inside out. Uh, I want to uh, just build upon what you are just mentioning with that first passion, the idea of biohacking. Uh, biohacking for me, I've always thought for many years, and I think you brought a new light to it, but before I thought this is something for athletes, like this is something for the 40 yard dash and he wants to run a little bit quicker or they want to jump a little higher, like attack the body to be just a little bit better. And from our last conversation, we're like, well, biohacking is literally anything we do to our body to influence our biology. Uh, so I was wondering just if you can expand upon that, that idea of biohacking and how do you see it and what does it mean to even the, the average person and what they can do to their, their body and their health? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to share my screen really quick because I got a slide that I can um, share with you guys about that. So let me get this up. Um, there we go. Go to the first slide. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so biohacking um, is kind of a new term. It is definitely something that people are, I think, the 
getting the buzz about, um, but not really fully understanding what it is. And um, so biohacking is really simply just the art and the science of changing the environment around you and inside of you so that you have more control over your own biology. So we can biohack our bodies in so many different ways. Um, as a massage therapist, I was biohacking people's body by the manipulation of, of touch and feel and um, you know, working with the muscles. You as a chiropractor, you biohack other people's body by you know, the manipulation of adjustment and stuff like that. So that is creating an effect inside of our body and it's changing the structure, it's changing the environment that it's in. Um, we biohack every day, you know, even just putting on a pair of sunglasses to reflect or to, you know, protect your eyes against that UV, um, a rays, you know, all of that, that that's biohacking. Um, and we can biohack our bodies by our nutrition, by the foods that we eat, the stuff that we put inside of our bodies. And that's where this term nutrigenomics comes into play. So nutrigenomics is really just the study of nutrition, nutritional compounds, and how they affect our genes and our gene expression. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. A couple of things that just really resonate with me in that idea of biohacking. One, we have a lot of control over our health and well-being. Um, I think that was something I realized as I learned more about the body and more about our medical system. There was a lot of like conversation like victim, you're victim to a disease, you're victim to an illness. And now here's your answer through medication. And when I realized how intelligent our bodies are designed to express health, heal themselves when they're in their proper environments, that's where that key of like biohacking comes in. And this is where we can have help the individual feel empowered of what environments can you put your body in? How can you move better, eat better, think better to create and facilitate this health from the inside out? So just huge points there that all of us are biohackers. Um, maybe we're biohacking towards health or towards illness, but we have that power and that control. And the body has this infinite innate potential to express life and we get to choose to which degree and how we want to be expressed within the body. So super awesome there. And then that, that key of, okay, the way we eat matters. We know it's important to eat healthy. It's very difficult to get all your vitamins and nutrients, the minerals from our food, right? I think we make a good effort, eat well-balanced diets, but to get all the essentials is, I think it's fair to say not realistic in our modern world, whether from agriculture, or the grocery store, how long it's picked to when I get to consume it. So a lot of factors there. And that's where I've learned to really appreciate and lean into supplements. And the idea of nutrigenomics that it's gonna there's a way where we can choose certain supplements to affect the expression of our genes um your dna your genetic code and i think that is like one of the essence where we're at with cell physiology and biology understanding the expression of life and that happens through our genetic sequence so if there's a way where we can put the right foods and the right supplements in front of our body to express genes towards health I think that's super powerful and nutrigenomics I think is cutting edge. It's the front line of what nutrition is and what it's actually doing to our physiology. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree with that. And um, I just wanted to share this slide really quick. Um, you know, as we're talking about biohacking our bodies, if we're not biohacking our bodies, then our bodies are essentially being hijacked. So um, you know, all of the things that our bodies come in contact with on a daily basis, you know, kind of like you were, what you were talking about, the, you know, anything from pollutants in the air to the water that we drink, um, even to physical exercise, emotional, you know, stress, mm -hmm. all of those things put a stressor on our bodies and then they're hijacking our body in, a, in, in some form, in some way. And, and then, you know, we're not able to fully function the way that, that we're supposed to. Yeah. And I think I just add to that, and you may agree with this. I think our world, our modern society is unnaturally stressful. We yeah. are just we're surrounded by stressors. Those are some of the main ones affecting our health. And just, there's hundreds of things affecting our bodies. Um, 
And the stressors can be a physical stress and how we're moving, we have a fall, that can be chemical stress, what's in our food, what's in our water. It can be emotional stress, our, our body, our mind, our mental health has an impact on our physical body. And these stressors, they start, and that's the screen you have up right now, like these stressors have a huge effect on our physical body. And I think that's the next pause. We're talking about nutrigenomics and at that cellular level, what's actually happening? What's, what's the result of these stressors in our environment? What's happening to our body? So yeah, so that's a really good question. Um, when we have all those stressors happening, when our body is being hijacked, um, we're actually creating oxidative stress inside of our body. And that's kind of a fail, fair, relatively new word. Um, a lot of people know of it as free radical damage. Um, but what is happening is this oxidative stress is just being bombarded inside of our body where we're getting overloads amounts of that in our body where we're having, you know, this toxic buildup inside. And oxidative stress really is the root cause to many you know, diseases, elements, things that you feel inside of your body. Pain can be, you know, a, a, a cause of overload of oxidative stress. You know, you're not feeling healthy, um, you're not feeling good, you're getting, you know, not enough sleep, lack of sleep, low energy. Um, all of these things can be linked back to an overload of oxidative stress. Um, and so we're really only functioning when we have that overload of oxidative stress on about 20% of our DNA. Um, mm. Because the other 80% is just kind of laying dormant because the oxidative stress has just taken over um, those cells. Yeah, that's, that's really awesome to hear like just that next level to what stress is. Because right. when I go to school and even like, oh, the newest research saying stress is the root cause of disease. Like, well, what does that mean? That's really hard to like understand how my mental, emotional stress is making me ill. Um, but when we look and see this oxidative stress and the impact literally on your physical body and getting to the root cause of that illness. And the other thing you just mentioned, you mentioned free radical. That was something I learned about in school. And okay, there's these free radicals. You can eat an antioxidant or something like that, or something like vegetables and vegetables and fruits can help you out. But it kind of stopped there. I was like, is that enough? What does that even mean? Like antioxidants, I see it on a, a juice bottle, so it must mean it's important, or is it gimmicky? So free radical, antioxidant, they, they couple together, and they do have an impact on our health. And I'm interested to see just like to what degree. So if we're talking oxidative stress, how many blueberries do I need to eat to combat? Because <laughs> right, all right. I live in a modern society and I deal with stressors. What can I do to combat oxidative stress? Right. Yeah. So I just want to touch on this slide really quick before we move on to that. But um, this kind of just shows that breakdown a little bit of your healthy cell. And then as that free radical damage, that oxidative stress happens, what's happening to your cells? So we can compare that a little bit to this apple, the fresh apple. When you first cut a fresh apple, you know, it's, it's beautiful on the inside, but as it sits on the counter or as it sits exposed to the oxygen, to our air, it starts to brown. Um, so that is really what's happening inside of our bodies. We are almost rusting from the inside out from this free radical damage. So moving on with that, um, you know, they always say, take your antioxidants, eat, you know, blueberries, have a glass of red wine, eat oranges. Um, but you're really only affecting that free radical damage when you consume, say, 11 pounds of blueberries, <laughs> you know, you're only, you know, affecting one to one. So you're taking one antioxidant and you're then fighting off one free radical. Um, and so it's a one to one and done. Um, there's this brand new technology out there um, called Nerf 2 activation, where it's actually going inside of your body 
and it's flipping the switch to turn on that NERF2 pathway. Um, NERF2 is a protein that's inside of our cell that signals our cell to make our own God-given indirect antioxidants. So, you know, those enzymes inside of our body, the SODs, the catalysts, the glutathione um, inside of our bodies, we can actually flip the switch, turn that on inside of our body, and our body is going to make its own antioxidants, which is really pretty incredible. So now instead of a one-to-one -one ratio, you have a one-to-one -one million ratio where it is taking out that free radical damage one million times more, um, which is really, really incredible to know that we can fight this, um, we can fight that free radical damage, and we can start to feel better fighting it from the inside out just by flipping the switch to turn on that pathway inside of our body. Yeah, that's huge. So just building upon understanding the effect that these free radicals are having, oxidative stress, like we need that one to one million effect, especially in today's modern society. Um, some like there in those parentheses, that superoxide dismutase, glutathione, catalase, these are powerful antioxidants. These are the ones that are like the holy grail of antioxidants within biochemistry. And our body has this ability to make them, makes it on its own, which is amazing. Our bodies, remember, are designed to self-heal, self-regulate, express health from the inside out. And there's a way where we can help it help itself, really help the body create this health and wellness by fighting off oxidative stress. Uh, I think it's just super powerful. It's Nerf 2 technology. It's something that more and more hearing about it, it's almost like you have to go looking for it. You have to have the right person to like share it with you. Uh, and I think that was one of the things that's really exciting. Like, this is information that people need to know about. There's ways where we can take back control of our health, understanding stressful environments. Okay, stress affected my life. What can I do about it? Um, we don't want to drink 87 glasses of wine, right? That wasn't <laughs> no, that was probably more no. of wine. And 11 pounds of blueberries, I mean, just it's pretty expensive. So it's not very economical. Right. Uh, <laughs> But really finding that way to tap into the cell, your body's ability to create these antioxidants, super powerful. And I feel like there's a lot of layers we can really dig into that nerf too. And um, I think, I don't know if in some way, like people wanted to reach out to you and really hear more about what that is, or if we can plan another conversation, because I have a feeling it's going to go pretty deep into some cell physiology. And I'm excited to go there. Um, I think I'm going to have to do a little homework and refreshing up on some cell physiology from school. To really build upon but it's just super exciting the potential our bodies have and that we can biohack remember we can change our environments induce help our body to create this health and yeah thanks for sharing that jenny that's really awesome is there anything else you want to add from that idea of nerf 2 and kind of where we're at with the biohacking the nutrigenomic component there um the only other thing that i just wanted to add if if somebody wants to um you know dig a little bit deeper and learn a little bit more um, about oxidative stress, um, going to pubmed.org is the National Health um, website, Health Institute's website. And um, you can type in the search bar oxidative stress and whatever it may be, whatever element, whatever disease, whatever it is that you may be personally dealing with, you can put those two things in the search bar and it's going to bring up peer reviewed studies and it's going to talk to you about link, the, the link between oxidative stress and whatever it is you may be, be dealing with. Um, and in there, you're actually going to see where it talks about NERF2 activation as well. So um, it's a little, little homework for anybody that's interested in, in kind of digging a little bit deeper. And then, um, yeah, I am definitely um, really excited to expand on this with you. I think it's gonna be a couple part series that we're gonna, we're gonna be able to, you know, expose bits and pieces of more of how nutrigenomics works inside of our body, how our bodies are able to really work and function to their fullest potential. Um, so I can't wait to, to do more of these and share this with our community. And yeah, if people have questions, you know, they're, they're welcome to, to get a hold of you or I, and um, we're, we'll just keep expanding. 
Awesome. Very cool. Thank you, Jenny. I really appreciate your time sharing that those insights, your expertise there, uh, the nutrigenomics, nerf two activation, and just really open up the conversation, the potential our bodies have. And I think every one of us are born in this understanding that our bodies are special. There's something really unique about the human body. Um, and it's an, an internal truth. I think each of us know that our bodies are designed to be healthy. Illness does happen. Sickness happens. And it's okay to ask for help. And that's what we want to be here as a resource in the community. If you want to learn more, don't hesitate to reach out. Send us a personal message. Let's, let's build up that healthcare team. Let's build up health and wellness. And really just approach it from that idea, that paradigm that our bodies are intelligent. They're designed to express health. And there's a way to help facilitate that health from the inside out. So, yeah, I'm excited to continue this conversation. And, again, thank you so much for your time, Jenny. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.